Hands, face, space. Wash hands, cover face, make space. That's all I need to know, right? This original guidance isn't entirely wrong, but now we know there are other important things we must do to protect ourselves. Initially, we thought the virus was spread by droplets from our mouth or nose when we cough or sneeze. These droplets fall to the ground. So if people stay two meters apart, they're unlikely to be infected. If we all wear masks, we stop droplets and protect others. So what's changed? We still have to wear masks, right? Absolutely, yes. The new information is that the virus is spread through aerosols, much smaller droplets which hang in the air. These tiny aerosol droplets don't fall to the ground. For a short time, the risk of infection is only if someone comes really close, but then the aerosol spreads further and two meters is no longer enough. Masks need to fit well, otherwise they will leak aerosol around the edges. And simple one-layered masks aren't sufficient protection. Suitable masks include three-layered cloth mask, use once then wash and dry before reuse, Surgical mask plus cloth mask. Surgical mask gives good filtration but poor fit. Cloth mask improves the fit of the surgical mask. FFP certified disposable mask. Check it for leaks. You may need to try different models. And masks with replaceable filters. Visors help with droplet transfer but do little to stop aerosols. And the same can be said of Perspex screens. If people meet outdoors, the aerosol can drift away. Indoors, an aerosol will spread like smoke through a room. Unless windows are open or ventilation is increased in other ways. This is especially important if people are talking which increases aerosol up to 10 times. Singing or yelling increases aerosol up to 50 times. Here's a summary. Hands, face, space, replace. This is still important. Wash hands, cover face, choose the right mask with no leaks, make space, okay, for short periods of time, and don't share your air. Open windows or go outdoors.